person with time down the middle. Jeremy Ebert at the 40 into Al's territory. Down the sideline, Jeremy Ebert into the end zone. 90 yard strike. Look at what Jeremy Ebert has done the last two games. 355 yards receiving. That's 27 yards per catch. It's also two straight weeks of setting a new career high for receiving yards per game. Obviously, this is boosted by the two huge plays. Back-to-back -back games he scored on a touchdown catch of more than 80 yards. Ebert and the rest of the Wildcats will be hosting Minnesota Saturday. To Evanston we go. Glenn Mason is calling the action. He's with Pat Fitzgerald. Pat, talking to your players and coaches, the opportunity to become bowl eligible for a fifth straight season, that's a big deal. That's their focus. Yeah, it is, Coach. You know, we need to go out and play our best 60 minutes of football, but uh, it would be huge for us to be able to go out and get this done uh, tomorrow. Well, you know, it, it's amazing, but you look at your defense. Um, they had struggles early in the year. But the last couple of weeks, they really come on. What's the difference? Well, better communication, uh, better angles to the football. And we've tackled probably the best in the last few weeks that we had all season long. And then we've limited explosion plays. It'll be a great challenge against the Gophers tomorrow from a standpoint of their ability to make the big plays over the top and, and the great skilled athletes that they have. You know, Kane Coulter, what a great job he did when he came in to replace Dan Person when he was injured. And he performed so well that all of us had a feeling when he came back, when Persa came back, right. Coulter wasn't going to be on the sideline. But when you look at what he's been able to accomplish, running the ball, passing the ball, receiving, it's phenomenal. Yeah, it is. It's spectacular. And if you are to combine the yardage, you know, all purpose that Danny has and Kane, you're talking about that position being the top in the Big Ten. And so, you know, Mick McCall, our offensive staff, have done, done a tremendous job of putting together a package to be able to play to both players' strengths. Well, you know, Dan Person was having such a great year last year. He had a great year last year until the untimely Achilles tendon when he went down after an unbelievable play against Iowa. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a lot of words that I think about when I try to describe a Dan Person, but the one that comes to mind is toughness. Yeah, you're right on. Not only physically, but also mentally. You know, he's a guy that shows up here first in the morning. He's the last guy to leave. He brings his teammates along with him. And, you know, you and I have coached a lot of special players, but, you know, Dan Person is going to rank up, if not number one, right there at the top for us. Okay, Pat, we've been around this game, uh, the <laughs> Gophers versus the Wildcats uh, for a long time, and I can say this firsthand. Normally, it turns out to a wild contest. Why is that? You know, I, I think both teams have a ton of respect for each other. You know, you look at what's going to happen tomorrow. We're going to have the wind as an element. Uh, you know, you look at last year's game, you go back to a few years ago, the pick six that we had. It's, uh, it's been wild. I'll go back even to when I was playing that uh, these games are wild. So it's, uh, it's going to be a fun, entertaining game, no doubt about that. Well, good luck to you. And as always, it's a pleasure visiting with you, and uh, back to you, Mike. 